Hey guys, Jake and Devin back with you with JD Cigars. Today we're smoking one of my personal favorites. And my, go on. And some, uh, some of you guys actually requested this, so. Yeah, a monster cigar. This thing definitely is thick. I believe this is what a 60 ring gauge. I think so. <laughs> so it's definitely one of the thicker cigars I've smoked. What's this? The five by seventy or? Five by sixty. Five by sixty. So, these are thick, monstrous cigars. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, my Uzi weighs a ton by Drew Estate. One of my all-time favorite cigars. And I haven't had one in a while, so I'm excited for this cigar. I'm pretty excited too. So let's uh, let's go in on the smell of these. I'm getting, I don't know, cedar, nice cedar. Mine's kind of perfumey a little bit with something else in there. I can't quite, can't quite put pin to. I get more of like a a little bit darker f smells with mine. I get kind of like a, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a chocolate. Um, yeah, some woodiness, definitely some cedar in there. Yeah, definitely something that's sweet. Yeah. So, without ado, let's uh, try to cut these. Like it definitely won't even. Oh, I can't show you here. Won't even fit. So, uh, let's try this out. <laughs> I can snip off a, a little bit. Ooh. How was that? Actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's go on to the dry puff here. Yeah, so again with that uh, chocolate that I got from the smell, I get in the taste. I definitely taste a uh, little bit of earthiness with it. Mm -hmm. um, definitely that sweetness, though. I I, can't, I, I get that. And uh, some uh, earth with it, too. Yep, definitely earthy. Definitely has a hint of sweetness that goes really nice. And definitely some, some woody notes on there, too. All right, so with, uh, without further ado, let's light these oh yeah. bad boys up. All right, guys. So we got uh, these my Uzi way a ton by Drew Estate lit up here. So what are your first initial thoughts on these with uh, flavors and first initial thoughts and first few puffs of the cigar? It's definitely closer to a full-bodied flavor. It's just attacking your mouth with all types of bold flavor. It's I'm, I'm getting lots of cedar, lots of earthiness, um, a little bit of leather in there, but there's also a hint of sweetness that just makes it all blend together really nicely. Yeah, it comes together really nicely. Yeah. These are uh, slowly starting to be one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. So, uh, with my first initial thoughts, as Jake said, I get that... Uh, that leather, actually, that, that's a nice uh, touch to it. I actually get woodiness. I don't get so much cedar with it, with, uh, with the uh, with the light. Uh, I get that sweetness, the chocolate flavor. So, mm -hmm. so to sum it up, I get leather, a little bit of dark chocolate or some chocolate in there, and uh, a little bit of woodiness. All right, guys. So. We're going to smoke these down a bit, and we're going to come back in, see if there's any flavor change or anything to note. Hey, guys. Jake and Evan back with you. Probably about the, uh oh close to halfway point here with this cigar of the My Uzi Weighs a Ton by Drew Estate. So, what are your thoughts so far? Uh, it's been a great cigar so far. Right now, it's uh, around the halfway point. It is kind of getting um, more more strength to it, but it's it's not harsh at all. I think I might just need to let it cool down for a little bit. But Jake, Jake has a problem with that. He likes to uh, 
haul on his cigars pretty fast, or puff on his cigars pretty fast. Yeah, so I just need to set it down for a bit, let it cool off. Um, the the burn line's decent on this. The ash is pretty good. Yeah, the ash is fairly nice. It's not as tight as I expected it to be, mm -hmm. but it's actually fairly nice. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's getting more on the stronger side. I just think it's losing that sweetness flavor to it. Yeah. I taste more of, like, a nutty flavor now, that leather, mm -hmm. that um, woodiness to it. So that's a little bit of a flavor change there, which I do like, and it does match the cigar, so yeah, I don't I don't mind it at all. Definitely the leather is definitely coming more more pronounced in mine. Another thing with this is it doesn't look like a thick cloud of smoke, probably because it's windy, but they're very smoky. They're very smoky. And the smoke covers your entire palate. Mm -hmm. It just coats it perfectly. I love the taste of these. Yeah. And through the retro hail with these two, um, just a lot more leather comes out when I retro hail this. All right. Have you have you uh, retro hailed? Not yet. So through my retro hail, I honestly just get a lot more leather with it. I do have that woodiness to it, but not really any nuttiness to it, so that's what I get through the retro hail. Alright, well, I'll definitely just give that a try. Alright, guys, so we're going to smoke these right down to the band, and we're going to come back with some final conclusions and some final ratings. Hey, guys, Jake and Evan back with JD Cigar, smoking these My Uzi Weighs a Ton by Drew Estate. So without further ado, let's jump right into the ratings. First, uh, impressions and appearance. What would you give? For first appearance, a uh, six or a seven. And first impressions, a nine. <laughs> okay. I was struggling with that. <laughs> first impressions and appearance for me. When I look at this cigar, it it looks bold to me. And the the wrapper was perfectly wrapped. It had a nice cap on it. Just the wrapper and the band, just together. It looks like a bold combination. It looks it looks like it stands out to me and I don't know why. And for that reason, I would give it an 8. 8 for both. So for Ash and Burn Line. Ash, it was okay. I was expecting more of a, a, a tighter Ash on this. But it still held on nicely. It, it still did look nice. I was just expecting a little bit more. So for Ash, I'm going to give it probably an 8. And for Burn Line, I'm going to give it a 10 actually because it has stayed clean the whole way through it's actually almost perfect as you can see yeah your burn line is really nice My, mine on the other hand it isn't as nice there's some dips there's some ditches in there uh burn line i give it a seven ash i would give it a seven as well i wasn't impressed with uh that much with the ash it wasn't tight it was like loose but it did mine at least did stay on for a little bit must did too, but I just was fiddling with it a lot more than Jake was, so I think mine would have stayed on a lot more if I wasn't fiddling with it. Yep. So for strength and flavor of this cigar, strength, I would put this at a high medium. Um, for flavor, I would, since this is one of my favorite cigars, the flavor is definitely a 10 for me. Um, just, it starts out real nice and creamy. Eat even right now, I'm just I'm just at the band. I'm just ready to take it off. It's still smokable. We actually smoked one of these down to like half an inch. Not even half an inch. Like it was a nub. <laughs> so they're they're fully smokable through the entire cigar, which is hard to find. Exactly. 
So for strength, I'm going to agree with Jake, and I'm going to give it a high medium. But for flavor, this is growing to be one of my favorite cigars. I think once I smoke a few more, notice a little bit more into the flavors, mm -hmm. then I will rate it higher. But as of right now, this is probably an 8. No, an 8.5. Eight, eight it's an 8.5 for flavor because I would have liked to have tasted that sweetness a little bit more. But it still, it still performed the way I think this cigar cigar should perform. It it's exactly as Jake said. It's a big, bold looking cigar, so it should perform that way, and it did. Yep. So let's jump into value. Devin actually bought these for my birthday, a ten pack, and what'd you get them for? Thirty five bucks around there. 33 bucks. 33 bucks for 10. So what's that? 330 a cigar? Yeah. That is an absolute steal. Now, at the local tobacconist, I did talk to them about this cigar, and they said they did buy a few packages, and they were selling them for over $10. I think it was like 10.50 a stick. Now, we are in Canada, so they may be a little more expensive here or whatever. A little cheaper, whatever it is. Yeah, so even at that 1050 cigar, I would still buy a buy a bundle of 10 of these. Cuz that's what 100 100 bucks for 10 cigars. That's still very good. I don't know. I, I just really like these cigars, I guess. <laughs> so value at $3 <clears throat> a cigar, 10 out of 10. Value at around $10 a cigar, 7 to 8. I'm going to agree with Jake on both. Um, these are an absolute steal at the three, $3 and whatever Jake said, 30 cents. A stick, I would definitely, I'm probably going to end up buying a, a, a bundle or a, yeah, a little bundle of these. So uh, I'm pretty happy with these. And uh, for the 10, for the $10 range, Probably a seven. I don't know. It's it's hard because I'm on the verge of it being one of my favorite cigars, but it's not quite yet. So I'm gonna give it the same rating as Jake for the exact same reasons. <laughs> Sounds good. So let's move into final rating. Would I buy this again? 100% buy this again. Final rating. I give this a solid nine and a half. There. Great value, great tasting, great performance, great looking. They're a fantastic cigar and a top cigar for me. For overall rating, I'm probably going to give this a 9. Big, bold cigar. Okay looking, great tasting. That's... I don't so much care about the looks but the taste I absolutely I really liked about these so on a nine but I would like to see that sweetness last longer so we're uh, we're about done this review but we just want to note something quick we want to give a nice little shout out to uh, light a cigar on Instagram uh, good guy great great photos go check it out yeah he's he's been shouting us out a few times just to try and grow out our following so we're gonna try and do the same for him you can find his link to his Instagram channel right in the description so thanks a lot yeah thank you very much all right, so this concludes our short review of my Uzi weighs a ten. Ugh, my Uzi weighs a ton <laughs> by Drew Estate. Holy tens all around, eh? <laughs> all right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our, our Instagram, and if you really like our stuff, feel free to give us some shoutouts, and we'll be happy to shout you out back. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back again with some more great content. Stay tuned.
Go on, go for it. Oh, holy no. ow! What'd you do? Oh, I hope we got that on film. That was loud. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back with more. <laughs> Can't do that again, because I had a fucking nasty-ass grin on all of them. <laughs>